Welcome back to Peglin. It's been a while since I played this game, and uh, I've missed an entire major update since I played this last, so I'm excited to be back. There's been a bunch of new relics added for the round rule, as well as well, some other stuff that I don't quite remember right now, but I am going round rule trying to get new relics. The perfect kill, very satisfying. I'm excited to be playing with the round rule anyway. I mean, I've only had three games with them before, so now we'll get to actually get some better stuff developed. Do I want to go refresh orb? Maybe, but it might be more fun to go for a Morbid Orb. It's got the Morbid D synergy, so I should be able to make something work with it. Let me look at this map. So I'm feeling a cool chest elite elite chest chest. There's a lot of good stuff. Let's upgrade this, try to get some good stats on it. I definitely think that means shooting a stone first. Just trying to at least get some bombs. There we go, maybe two bombs, and then I'm happy. I'm happy. The stone feel, felt very bouncy though. I don't know if it's just been a while or if they upped the bounciness of the stone. Either way, I'm here for it. I am here for this damage I'm dealing. Damn, that's a lot of damage. And too bad it's all wasted. So speaking of wasted, it's a shame that uh, the round roll still starts with a dag orb. It just doesn't feel like it makes sense for the character's identity. And plus the regular peglin also starts with a dag orb, so it's like the same thing. Ooh, a perfect kill, lucky me. I was hoping that'd be one of the things changes up update, but at least uh, I think I'll, that'll be made up if I see any of the new relics. And since I know I'm not going to a shop this early, I might as well go for tier three Morby. Although getting to a shop to remove a stone would be pretty smart. Is that better than a chest? Here's what I'll do, I'll bounce left, and then I'll decide after this fight. Think I can crit here? That's critable. Yeah, but it, like the run out was bad, so I don't even know if that was worth it. All right, let's aim for this bat. I, I assume I'll get to a bomb eventually and wipe out that front character, but well, I don't know. The way things are going, I can't tell. I'll go for the Morby then, just try to hit the bat. Okay, I got a bomb, worth it. 39 damage. All right, get rid of the other bats. The bats are just the ones that gotta go. And if I can hit another bomb, that'd be perfect. It's right there, so it's, it's itching to go away. Yeah, just launch it right into the bomb. It's perfect. Uh, almost perfect. It would be perfect. At least the bat got stun locked a little. All right, well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win, so I might as well just take shots that try to prioritize coins. Hopefully prioritize coins. Yeah, that's not bad. He's not hitting me yet. Uh, he's dead. All right, fun. I mean, a shop would be really nice right now just to get rid of a stone even. Yeah, but I see Sphere is here. I'm up against the mole, so Sphere makes sense. You know what? No, I'll hold on to my coins. The nice thing about having 50 coins, too, is that I can actually afford a relic of the shop if I want it. Oh, I want it. Damn, I mean, ambidextrationary is like removing orbs, but on crack. You gotta take the ambidextrationary. It's awesome that can show up in shops. Well, now I could go to the other shop on the left after the elite fight. Sometimes I get 30 coins during this fight. We'll see. Oh, the map changed. It's much more circular now. How round you look. I think it used to look like a bat. Now it just looks like, I don't know, maybe a red slime dude? This is a very strange look, no doubt. And it seems that the goal is to get into the center somehow, but I can't tell what is straight up and straight down here. This is something very hard to visualize unless if I have like the, um, the unicorn horn. The unicorn horn would help greatly here so I can actually go straight up, straight down. But now, well, I just gotta hope it's right. But once I'm in the center, it's good. God, that's a lot of wasted damage. All right, well, now I got to make it to the bombs. I got to make it to the bombs. It seems kind of harder to get the bombs here than the previous setup, but it does seem a lot easier to get more pegs. So there's trade-offs. I think this is a worthwhile trade-off. It's just I spend way less time whapping at the big guy. I'm actually going to go straight for the refresh now. Because, uh, yeah, I figured 10 damage was going to happen. And now I can focus down the main guy. So seven damage crit. Let's see what this ends up as. Uh, not bad, not bad. Oh, and he's held in place. Okay, that's looking good. I feel like I should be finishing him off now. Get a lot of coins, though, please, as well. Not bad. I want to get to that shop. And I think I'll save my coins for this shop. Just remove something. So, refresh your course or Betsy's hedge. I mean, this is plus two, plus zero right now. I think I like that more than refresh your course. I don't really have much refreshing going. That does make my, um, if I potentially get a crit fleece, that does make that worse, but it is what it is. Ah, uh, the sadness. All the coins are on the right, but where I want to go is on the left. Don't be greedy. So this is pretty much just going to be a removal. Plain and simple, get rid of a stone. Even though I have ambidextrinary, I still want to thin at least a little, because I plan to take some orbs, more orbs eventually. I would just want the stones out of the way. All right, what's good here? 3-8 Dagorb. 
Well, that's well worth it, even if I don't hit the crit. It was worth a shot to try to crit. Well, now I'm definitely gonna crit. Well, I hit three bombs as well. <laughs> Otherwise, the shot is not worth it. Nope, I hit no bombs. So what's nice about the stones is that they have no extra crit damage. It doesn't really matter if I hit that anymore. However, I know I still gotta go for bombs. If I could hit a second bomb there, that'd be great, but can't be so lucky. And it's like, what is the best way to guarantee I hit bombs anyway? I got two that are softened up. So theoretically, I should be able to go from one to the other. Ah, very close. Angle's just a touch off. Well, next shot will do it. Maybe angle into the crit at least. Well, that happened, but no real damage came from it. The refreshes are in just terrible spots. But I guess that's where the, uh, the Morbid Orb shines. I'll aim it right in here. And that'll do it. Damn, that's good. Critable is good with Betsy's hedge, sort of, kind of. I don't know, it's complicated. I think I'm just gonna keep saving my money for new orbs. I will upgrade my Dag Orb though. Yeah, I'll just wait for new orbs, new relics, two additional crits. Four crits and then Betsy's hedge is super hedgy. I don't know how to feel about this build. It's like I have all the crits, but most things are worse when critting, so that's tough. Oh, enhanced gunpowder. Bombs activate nearby pegs. I might try to do that right now since it doesn't quite matter. My direction doesn't matter. Maybe I'll get lucky. Not today. Ooh, an elite fight. All right, so avoid crits if I can help it. And thankfully, I actually do see a route to do so. Just keep it in the middle. Now that is nice. Great, I locked it in place. How wonderful. Um, I'm definitely not getting the second bomb. I guess I'll just go for the refresh. Sometimes I don't crit here. This time I did, but it actually doesn't really matter. Well, now I definitely want to crit. That should kill the enemy. Yeah, this fight is going beautifully for me. And I imagine Morbid Orb will just bring it home. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Only costs four mana to throw, and it should wipe out this enemy. But it doesn't. Please don't shoot. That was a very unfortunate run out. All right, well, now I'm just going for coins. I'd be shocked if this doesn't win. Didn't get many coins, that's fine. I mean, I'm up against the mole, so I would normally want AoE, but I have such high damage that I kind of just don't care. Like, I'll just upgrade my Dag Orb again and move on. Don't need a heal. Uh, safety nets or wall chicken is wonderful. Plus 25 at max HP, love it. I'll try to go left so I'm forced to get the chest next time, but it doesn't matter either way. So this is a weird fight now. I'll go Dag Orb here, just get that. Wah! Doesn't matter, I guess I make the kill anyway. An overkill doesn't matter at all. But still, wah. Hopefully this doesn't hit a crit. Well, it didn't hit much of anything, really. The goal overall is to hit bombs. I don't know what that will take. All right, at least they know how to skip over a crit there. That'll be very helpful for shooting a stone. How do I get to bombs on this map? It's like I have to take a few intentionally terrible shots to set it up. Oh, dead the poison. <laughs> Yeah, like, just hit the bomb here and anything else will wipe it out. But the second bomb is where it's at. All these enemies left alive with just a little bit of HP. Very sad. Probably not hitting a bomb, though. Well, unless this works out. So, oh, yeah, it worked out. Nice. Love to see it. The signal boost orb. I don't go for this ever. Unfortunately, it's not the synergy I'm going for. See, I was really hoping to get stuff that's, like, unique to round roll. It's really sad that there's so many orbs that don't do that. This isn't the synergy I wanted to go for, but it's the synergy that I'm being offered. I mean, I have no synergy yet, but I could then hard look for any must circle, spinets, and balance. What's it doing upgraded? Stat buff and it gets affected by those things three times? Okay, so this is like uber synergy if I can find anything that helps me out. Though it does make me wonder, why does balance actually exist, you know? What is the purpose for that being a thing as opposed to just having the one relic that gives balance instead give one must circle and one spinesse? I don't know. Refreshing move is sometimes nice, sometimes not nice. <laughs> it's a 6-4 to begin with. So it's basically just the stone right now. Okay, cool. Whatever, stones are still really good with my deck. Uh, especially if I miss the crit. Good, good, good. I'll keep aiming at the big guy. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I find something that synergizes. Otherwise, I'm going to be really annoyed. It just does feel like the uh, the orb pool is a little too big still. So anything they could do to, like, decrease the size of the orb pool would make me happy. 
just to hopefully make some builds more consistent. But until now, I'll just kind of, or until then, I'll just keep shooting my stones. All right, I imagine I should get rid of Spider-Man. Also, just get me a good chunk of coins as well. Anything new? No. But I could upgrade this further. It gets affected four times? And a stat buff. This seems really good if I can find any synergy for it. One day. I hope, though, if they ever choose to nerf it, because just based on the smell test, it sounds really powerful. If they ever choose to nerf it, I hope they at least just first start by getting rid of the stat buffs and keeping its cool part. Because I could see it just being, um, just being the increased synergy buffs instead of stat buffs. But, uh, I, I do think it's very interesting right now. All right, either way, I think my game plan is just get rid of the tree. Because I have no AoE. I don't know what I'm going to do about the mole, so I'll just try to remove the tree as fast as possible. But now, Signal Boost Orb has 7 damage. At least I can do something decent against the mole here. Hopefully. Ooh, I got bombs. Alright, so that hit a lot. Right, I should still be fine against the mole. This is a game about trying to get bombs, I think. Yeah, I got really strong bombs energy, so I'll just do that as much as possible. Remove the tree. Signal Boost Orb again. Void the crit. So far, so good. Alright, nice. Not many pegs hit, that's okay. And I think the play, again, is just hit the bombs at all costs. Because it's not like there's that much an upside anyway. And you know what? I'll go for a refresh now because I think the mole's about to show up in my face. Yeah, I want a good, clean, morbid here. Nice! Oh, that's baller. Again, still no synergy. I mean, I could go refresh orb in hopes that I find broccoli or just some other synergy. And refresh orb is just good. Refreshing is very nice. I'll upgrade it once. Even though it's, uh, it's non-stat buff doesn't really do much of anything. Huh. This would be a pretty good time for consuming Chalice with all the crits. Yes, these two are probably some of the best boss relics. But I'm tired of doing the same ones over and over again. Consuming Chalice is rarely good and I want to take it while I can actually make benefit of it up against the wall. It especially helps that I actually took a refresh orb, so I always have more ways to refresh. And now this just casually does 18 crit damage. Nice. Better actually like hit some pegs to go with that. Okay. Ooh, all sunk into the shield. Do you hate to see it? Okay, so crits are back on the menu. <laughs> Late refresh there, hate to see it. I do feel like my actual amount of pegs I'm hitting is pretty low. That is, I feel like even for this map, even given what I have, I feel like I've just gotten some unlucky bounces, but it's, it's balancing out now. That's a bit more normal. Okay, all I need is 51 damage, so I'll go for a low amount of pegs hit this time, just because uh, no overkill. Now the morbid. This is where I need the high damage to shine. <laughs> Never mind. Three! Okay, that's fine. I'm one bomb away from it not mattering. And there it goes, not mattering. Okay, come on, let's bring it home. Thank you. This shouldn't have taken so long. Whoa, Ekorb got a glow up. Look at that beautiful sprite. I feel like this guy should be really good with the build. It's an 06 to begin with, and it keeps a lot of extra damage. I'll take it. Echo 60, let's upgrade Ekorb. Finally, some AoE, pretty good for this floor too. So I'm probably gonna go chest over shop. But I will go for the shop at the bottom, since that's already naturally where I want to go. <gasps> Let's not play with it anymore. The ethereal peglin, what do I want to upgrade? I mean, I could get an instant refresh, which is really good value. Or incredible echo. Let's max out echo, I think, first. Mm, so with the way things are going, I don't know if I'm going to get signal boost orb synergy. Also, I should be taking advantage of my double skip. I kind of forgot I had that. The good old ambidextionary. I should I should focus on that. That way I can at least start with a dag orb and then follow it up with a sweet, sweet echo orb, which is pretty much guaranteed to win. The main thing is I want to actually hope I get enough coins. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is pretty glorious already. Nice. Oh, I got ballad. I think this thing actually got buffed too. So first off, I do like spinesse because I have all the crits. And then if I upgrade it, it now gets two spinets, so it's more than a stat buff, which is awesome. Again, if it turns out that Bullet is too po powerful, hopefully they only get rid of the stat buff and just keep its synergy. Anyway, I don't really care about direction right now, I just want coins. 
I get a question mark either way. If I go left, I get an extra fight, but the extra fight, don't really care about. Ooh, I can get rid of another stone. Goodbye. I do like, uh, <laughs> with the, um, the Orbalisk event. If you uh, don't take the Orbalisk, it acts disappointed. Like, it's very sure to say that it's disappointed. I find that funny. Anyways, Ekorp is a 4-6. So that should be guaranteed to wipe out everybody. Love it. Probably my best orb right now. And this crit should hopefully be able to do the last bit. No mind, there's still one more asshole enemy. Yeah, refresh orb is worse stats than stone, but I would like to get a refresh here. Even if it doesn't kill, just having that is very nice. Stone win to kill anyway. So now it's like, oh, whatever I shoot is gonna win, so I'll just go for a couple coins. Uh, super overkill, nice. Let's see, I mean, I do want to save money, but I also want to upgrade the refresh orb to tier 3 so I can get an instant refresh. That is something I feel like I've been missing. And then I'll carry on. Oops. I don't mind losing HP, though, because I'm up against the wall. Ooh, more coins or navigation. I think also, again, I'm going to see if I can blow up all the bombs because my direction doesn't matter. I always plan to go left, but I can still go left from here. I could go Dag Orb, then Signal Boost, then Ek Orb. Seems like a good route. Nice. All right, and now the big damage comes. Plus 108. Oh, but I did get a refresh after discarding. Oh, that's nice. Perfect. Well, get him. Ek Orb is so cool. It's my favorite. Yeah, I might save my money now. Oh, but I could get a tier 3 Ballad. It's fine. I will have an elite fight, so I will be able to get a little bit more money for the shop. I'll probably only be able to afford one relic, but that's okay. Anything good here? Uh, Post-battle healing isn't necessary yet, but one day it will be. Is it just me or is it getting darker? Is it like the deeper you go into the castle, the more dimly lit and moody it is? Anyway, Dagorb is awesome if I can find a crit. It seems doable, but will it happen? It does. Nice. Huge. All right, so I'll go Ballad into Signal Boost Orb for the first time actually capitalizing on this synergy. So that plus three Spinesse applies after it attacks, it looks like. So now it's a 721. Theoretically, this should kill. And it does. Wow, that is incredibly busted. Four times the bonus. I could get a tier three Inferno Orb. I'll hold on to this. I could get two relics now. This is new. The Mask of Sorrow. When applying negative status effects to an enemy, increase the amount applied by one. I'll take the new thing. Plus, it, you know, has innate synergy with my character's ability. So I might as well, you know, get a little blind two, bramble two, poison two is pretty good. What's in the box? More bombs. Sure, I like bombs. All right, something good in this shop. What are we looking at? This is new. Orbert's story. Question mark nodes have an increased 7% chance to be a treasure node. Is that good? Or is it better than like taking Apple and Short Fuse or Apple and Remove Orb or Short Fuse and Remove Orb? Short Fuse is kind of dangerous though with the enhanced gunpowder. Red Bombs scare me. However, Red Bombs don't actually deal bonus damage to me, so this is still fine. Then I could go max HP and just screw Orbits. This is really hard to evaluate because I don't know what the odds are in the first place. I guess I'll take it because it's new. I think the Apple is better, but I'm all here for new things. It's just like max HP is going to be pretty helpful when red bombs are about to be pretty scary. But this ought to be good. Like, as long as I get some bombs going, I'm, yeah, set to do a ton of damage and then followed up with a cool egg orb. Om nom 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 nom. Yes, yeah, so this is guaranteed the peg. Let's see what it actually ends up looking like. Am I going to crit? I do. Wonderful. All right. Awesome start. Love to see it. I guess I could just discard this and get its bonus anyway. And unfortunately, my cool synergy is out of order, but at least Dagorb's still nice. Assuming I hit a bomb. I have been prioritizing the crit, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a bomb. Shoot over here. There's a bomb and a crit. And probably just a lot of damage in tow. Yeah, the fact that it bounces up and keeps hitting all those pegs, yeah, it makes it wonderful here. Not much to be worried about. I could skip this, go for the ballad, though. Set up a better next go-around. Never mind. Wow, that missed everything. At least I still got the bonus. Um, okay, let's shoot it all the way to the right. There's a refresh here. Bombs should be a crit. The odds of hitting a crit are very high. Okay, good. Things are still good. Don't need the refresh. Well, Morbid was good last time. 
It's actually crazy how many bombs I've still missed. The run out just seems to hate bombs, but everything is uh, everything is pretty much over now. This is guaranteed to get there. Pick up a couple coins and then end it. Pick up one coin and end it. Do I want to upgrade anything? No, there's just stones. I mean, I could go for another dag orb. I feel like I don't need it, though. I'd rather just focus on my synergy, which is Ballad plus Signal Boost Orb. That nah, Dag Orb does still fit this synergy. It's very, very, very good. Pendant is the opposite of what I want. Well, Mo Molten Mantle's pretty good. I guess I'll take the good relic. Thanks. Up against the QR code boss. Now, I know I got it nerfed, but honestly, it probably could be nerfed again for like every four coins hit. It probably could. Anyways, early Ballad's a great start. Ho! Oh, yeah. That already did nutty damage. Well, feed me coins. Cool. Ooh, another Ballad. Nice. Uh, this is good synergy. I guess this is like a Dag Orb, but better, but I'm too broke. Here, I'll just upgrade this right now. Not broke enough for that. Not too broke for that, rather. Man, I can't seem to get the shots in the pockets. Uh, maybe I could take a Dag Orb. I would skip anything else. Skip. Please me do me a solid and go to the shop. There's still time. Ah, fuck. I said shop when I meant treasure chest. Clearly, that's the reason why it didn't work out. Well, this should be a one-turn kill. Thank you. Oh, right. I am just out of money. I forgot about that. The <laughs> Molten Mantle does have a downside, technically. Also, my navigation has been dog shit, but at least it doesn't matter. All right, pretty good start so far. Yeah, really good start. I think the play is just skip that for a cool refresh. Get some sick damage and then hope I can echo my way to a win. Yeah, no matter what I do, I win. So just, yeah, as long as I don't hit any red bombs, I'm happy. And I can't buy anything for the rest of the game. Thankfully, I mean, my current setup is really good. So it's not like I need to buy things. And <laughs> five extra coins. Wow, that's good for Molten Mantle, I suppose. But now at least I get the combo where I get a free extra item. Oh, projectile attacks, pierce additional enemy. That's huge. I have a ton of projectile attacks. Anyways, I desperately want elites. So now I'm not sure the best way to treat this. I'll just let more enemies show up on screen and then I'll probably nuke them with bombs. That way I don't, oh well, if I can control it. Okay, it turns out what's actually gonna happen is I'm gonna hit a crap ton of bombs and it's gonna hurt quite a bit. And I won't have any money to heal, unfortunately. Actually, I don't have any healing at all. Well, that's scary. I'll have to hope I just absolutely nuke the QR code. I mean, it's possible, but it's not guaranteed. I don't have any spinesse. Let's just go morbid. On a map like this, it should have a very nice run out, mm, but it didn't. But the main thing is I get Echorb. This this is, should, should be the money guy. The money maker. No? Maybe? I think it's just better to skip here, shoot a stone instead. Molten Mantle does nothing, it's very sad. It doesn't need to do anything though, because I'm powerful regardless. You can- Oh no! I wanted to hit the bomb, the bomb would have hit the crit. Now there's no chance I'm critting. Not a shot. Didn't matter. Also one plus one or higher bomb damage. I don't have that many bombs, I think Power Glove will add up to be a little bit more damage. Now I need to go left. Okay, that's fine. Still hate it. Still fine. There we go, good. Praise be. Ooh, deal full damage to enemies with resistances. I actually don't think that makes a difference when it comes to the QR code boss. But this, well, I'll remove an orb. <laughs> Just the stone, I think. Everything else is really good. Though I am bleeding HP, I need some way to heal. I just don't know what it's gonna take. And I shoot the signal boost orb before anything else. Hate to see it. It's okay, maybe this will be fine. Little pierce. I think a ball adds the play. And then just kind of <laughs> let that go. Nice, got a refresh too. He's not going to be shooting me right away, so next shot should be super deadly. Alright, get a good crit going and there's nothing to fear. Nice. Minimal damage, but not no damage. I don't really gain max HP. Bombs apply blind sounds good. Also, really good synergy with Mask of Sorrow. Uh, just don't hit the flames now. Good. Do I want to start with Ekorb in hopes that it just gets there? Because it might. Sometimes it just gets there. We'll, we'll try it with uh, no echoey help. 
Did he get there? No! So very sad. All right, bleeding HP. This boss fight is gonna be very scary. Unless if I can find a way to heal like right now. Oh, hey, I found healing. That's actually the, the exact healing I needed. Perfect. All right, now I can just keep my max HP the whole time. I barely lost any pure HP. <laughs> Do I want the chip? You know what, give me the chip. I hear it changed a little bit. Give it to me. I, ahem, I want to, why am I not winning any flips? Please, what are the odds? The odds are like impossible. Okay, at what point do I give up? Bro, what the fuck? Please, give me the chip. I just want to see the new chip. It's different, I've heard. Oh my God. What the f fuck? What are the odds? Actually though, what are the odds? They, I think they're unknown to the player. The chip changed. I just want to see it. Is that going to kill me? I don't know. So the difference is that one of the times 0.5s has a flame as opposed to both. It's a minor buff for the player. Was it worth sacrificing a trillion HP for it? Probably not, but I had to know. Um, but I guess I'm not really sacrificing much HP because it's already back to full. Oh, and the enemies are like almost dead <laughs> because I'm so overpowered. All right, let's go Ekorb because that kind of just wins on the spot now, doesn't it? Almost wins on the spot. That's fine. I wanted to drag it out. Keep the tension going. Will this blue thing get me, huh? Well, hold on. How about I win with the signal boost orb synergy? Since that's unlikely to fail me. Yeah, thank you. Lesson learned. Signal boost orb is very powerful. I'm glad I finally got that in a run. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. More Peglin coming in the future. Have a wonderful day and peace.